don't know, is Dollar Tree tricking us with all these new great products? Then they're gonna do a little switcheroo on us and raise prices. Did you see the article? I posted it on my Facebook page. Look at what they just brought in. It's a flower vase. Remember when I did the one from Ikea a couple of months ago? That one was glass and it was beautiful. This one's plastic. Look at the little thing. They slide right off, fill it with water. This is multi-purpose, multi-use, because I'm about to show you three ways to use this. We don't buy things and use it for one thing. Absolutely not. Not even for a dollar and a quarter. I could tell you four things that you can use these for. First, how they are telling you to use it. A little vase, put some water in it. Very thin. Use your gentle hands. I know you got heavy ass hands. Look how beautiful this is. Using it like this is gonna look beautiful. There was only like six left in my store, so I bought three. I left three, because I'm a nice person. But if you did like an entire row like this, baby showers, weddings, quinceañeras, you know what I'm saying? And then they can take the centerpiece because it didn't cost you that much. And got beautiful flowers for you guys so you guys can see the visual. And I have it in this beautiful plastic vase. Also from Dollar Tree, that is a margarita pina colada. <laughs> From Dollar Tree for pool parties. Y'all need to go pick some of these up. They come in a variety of colors. How fun is that? It's also a vase. See what I said? Multi-purpose, multi-use. Listen, if somebody tells you your bouquets are ugly, you slap them in the mouth. <laughs> Don't be violent. She's kidding. Yes, she did. Give me my credit. Give me my flowers. When you put something this beautiful together, there's not one person on earth. There might be that one jacket who might say something, but your uncle can kiss it. It's gonna be like, uh, is that from Dollar Tree? You know why? Because it's gorgeous. That's why I don't understand the people that are like, I would never shop at Dollar Tree. Okay, silly cat, waste your money elsewhere. Oh, oh, all the way in the back too. For the vase number two, we're not gonna use it as a vase. For this one, I got these little pebbles. What are they, glass gems? Also from Dollar Tree. Three might be a lot, but let's see. For your brushes. Oh, you're so chic. Idea number two, same vase. Once your flowers die, boom, convert it into this guy. And number three, we're about to do with this styrofoam, also from Dollar Tree, like I didn't have to leave Dollar Tree. One of these, also from Dollar Tree, and some flowers. So what I thought was, let's cover the plastic with a little bit of this. And then you know what the last one is, which I can't demonstrate today because I don't have any. I just thought about it on the fly, cake pops. Can you not put some more of these little bees and put cake pops in here to dry? Or maybe just to display? What I was thinking was, can we put it on the wall with a command strip? Line it up, boom. Project almost done. Don't come over my house critiquing nothing. Not even your sister. Did you pay for that? No, okay, I did not ask for opinions about my Dollar Tree DIY. So stop, why is this gorgeous to me? Look at one side, done, look how pretty that is. And these come right off, okay, look at that. If you wanna change the design later, you can do it with that same dollar and that same quarter. We have the paper all the way around and then stuff it in there. Now you close it and then start stuffing flowers kind of like this one. Now these, you can also like hot glue them into the styrofoam. That way when you hang them up, they won't fall off. But look at it from the side. You put it on the toilet like this or even like this. How pretty is that? I'm gonna give the plastic vase five Vivian heads. And don't forget, the paper is from Dollar Tree. The flowers are from Dollar Tree. The little glass gems are from Dollar Tree. Craft boxes with little boxes inside. I thought of a million different ways to use this. One of them, for the obvious stuff, right, in the craft section. The beads, the little knickknacks that people use to craft with. This was a dollar and a quarter, you guys. Look how many. There's nine little compartments in there, divided. And then within the compartment, you get a little, oh, I thought for travel. Medicine, vitamins, allergies, all the things. Here's the reason I got two of them. One of them is gonna be my medicine one. The other one is gonna be for jewelry or toiletries. If you don't take that much jewelry with you, you shouldn't on vacation. A little bracelet. Are you kidding me? Your pearl necklace. Now, some of the necklaces might be too long, but fingers crossed. This necklace, super long. Do you think it's gonna fit? Now you have everything organized in your damn suitcase. These are not gonna last long. So if you see them, you need to get one for your jewelry and one for your meds, toiletry stuff, not just meds. All of your earrings, they get their own little compartment. And you know what's cute too? If you're super organized, you're gonna label these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm not thinking on vacation. My stuff's already coordinated for the day. 
I always get questions about my labeler. This is my labeler. I don't know what model it is. I'll link it in the video somewhere, but it's a brother one. Now, the second one we're gonna use for the toiletries, Tylenol. Take the diarrhea stuff, just in case we go to the buffet. <laughs> Throw this in your purse. It's already pre-packed. Life is gonna be so good when you take my tips. Maybe you need your little serum. You don't take this whole thing. That's too much. You're on vacation. You're not even gonna use it all. Put your serum in there. A little bit of moisturizer. Don't take a lot because you're not gonna use it. You know you're gonna be unpacking all this right back when you get home. Hair oil I definitely bring on vacation because your hair gets crazy with that sun and the beach and the salt water. See, this is where you need to label things because now I'm not gonna know between this and this what's what. You ain't gonna take all that makeup because you ain't gonna use none of it. Get you a little bit just in case you have a special night and your lover's trying to do something special and you don't wanna feel like a total, <laughs> just in case. If not, boom, who cares? You just took a little bit. The rest are for vitamins. You're done, you're ready for your vacation. Look at these. You could even get a hook and put them on the mirror on your cruise. I'm thinking of, of a cruise, that's my thing, okay? If you're new here, cruises are my thing. I always talk about cruises. Some, somebody left me a comment once and said, man, why do you always bring it up? What? She was upset that I always talk about cruises. This is my world, ma'am. You watching me have entered into my world. You can't come into my world and then tell me I can't talk about that. What? That's like going to your neighbors and going, I don't like the color of your brick. Can you not? <laughs> now you know the rules in my world. Do whatever the hell you want. I do whatever the hell I want. So I'm gonna give the nine section craft organizer 55 Vivian heads. Mason jar lids. This is really cool, very interesting. I usually walk past these. They're usually hanging on the little side. This time, for some reason, I looked because they had one that's a pump for soap. They have different configurations and styles. They're just selling you the lid. This one is for flower arrangements, kind of like this vase. You're getting two lids. This one is so that you can hang your mason jar. I thought this was cute for outside. Maybe a tip jar, you can hang it. Then this one is also for flowers. It's just a little bit different design from this one. Does that look like a mason jar? Now I would do this in my house. This is bougie. Some water. The lid back on. And if you don't like this silver color, spray paint it. Look how cool this gold color is. So that's one look with one jar and you're getting two. Look at this. Mason jars are universal sizes, so <laughs> you're gonna be able to just go with that. See, this one is gonna take less flowers. You cannot mess this up. Either design, and look how easy it is to change. Now let's see what this little hanging thing is all about. All you have to do is change the lid. Look at this. And it has a little star in the front. These are totally worth a dollar and a quarter. Hang these outside, maybe for bugs. Put a little votive in there. Now, I don't know if this is recommended, but it has an opening, so I figured, sure, and it's metal. Be careful, use at your own risk. Don't do what Vivian does. But if you hung this like this, multi-purpose, multi-use, one mason jar. Is that gorgeous or what? It might be a fire hazard. Use at your own risk. You gotta get this kind of mason jar though. Look how gorgeous that looks. We're going to our fourth different way to use one mason jar. This one. This one's exciting. Your bathroom's gonna look so bougie. This one comes in black. Assembled. Three seconds. That's how long that took. Put that in there. Your bathroom has just elevated. And then put your lid on top. Let's see how well the pump works. Perfection for the price, are you kidding me? All of the different designs we did with it, I love. So I'm gonna give the mason jar, which is actually huge compared to other mason jars, the design, the price. I'm gonna give the mason jar five Vivian heads and the lids, all of them get five Vivian heads. New mirrors, new frames. Look at the shape of them. Is that not good? Look at this frame. This frame came in two different colors, in white and in black. How chic and modern is this? And it is not like thin and cheap, it's actually decent. But look how beautiful this is. It is a mirror and I have to position it right so that my lights don't shine on it. But look at this. For a bathroom or a hallway, it is kind of on the smaller side, but it's not tiny. It's black, but it has a tiny bit of gold kind of brushed on there. It looks so pretty. This one kind of shocked me because I thought, Oh, Dollar Tree is not only bringing us like nice things, but they're bringing us like trendy, like stylish things. And it does have a little hook in the back. 
It would be cool if they had a little foot to it, huh? So you can put it like this, maybe on your dresser or something. Either way, a hallway, a bathroom, a kid's room. Is Dollar Tree trying to get like trendy? Yeah, they are. Oh, they're not just about cheap. I'm telling you, I don't want them to surprise me with a damn price hike, but something's different. They're ordering different things. Look at the frame. What if we did that DIY I did with the rings and the fabric inside? This would look very modern and beautiful as well. Like this could be a total multi-purpose, multi-use product right here. It's an excellent deal for either of these two for $1.25. I want you to tell me how much the cheapest mirror at Target is. The mirror quality is actually excellent. This one is just very good. For the price, do not question, not even the quality. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the frame five Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the mirror 25 Vivian heads. I'm really impressed with the mirror. Air fryer parchment paper liners in two sizes for a dollar 25. Dollar Tree, what are you doing? Dollar Tree is going after every department at Walmart. These are super trendy, okay? Before you just have to cut some foil or some parchment paper yourself. Oh no, Dollar Tree said, wait a second, everybody's giving you guys these parchment papers already cut. We can do that too. For a dollar and a quarter, the larger ones, you're getting 15 liners. The smaller ones, you're getting 20. And if you don't know what this is, it's so that you don't have to dirty up your air fryer. You just put one of these little liners in it and then throw it away once you're done. It's like putting it in the oven. Now you have a little liner. Between these two, I got 35 liners for $2.50. How much are these on Amazon? These are the smaller ones. You could even use these in the oven, okay? Like don't get it mistaken. If you're just cooking something quick, you don't wanna take out the air fryer, you wanna use the actual oven, which I think people are over the air fryer now. Here are the two sizes. I don't know if these are new, I just noticed them. And I did check a couple of different stores to see if I saw them, I didn't. I only saw them at one store. They're in the section where they have the foil and the plastic baggies and things like that. That's where you're gonna find them. So I'm gonna give the parchment paper five Vivian heads. I don't think that I would take Vivian heads off for quality. I think all quality of parchment paper is pretty close. Global Beauty Care. I think they're trying to now go after Be Pure at Dollar Tree. Like they're trying to be the next up and coming brand there because they're launching entire lines just like Be Pure. This is their entire line of new fruit acid skincare. This line, I believe they're trying to dupe the glow recipe kind of stuff because they also do a lot of fruit acids. This one is a strawberry and hyaluronic acid glowing facial moisturizer with vitamin C, A, and E, kiwi, pineapple, glycolic acid, probably for brightening, right? Exfoliating facial polish, smooth and minimizes fine lines, used twice a week. And then this one is a papaya citric acid. All competition at Dollar Tree is what we need because that guarantees that they'll continue to bring in amazing products to compete with these bigger brands. Let's see if they smell like the actual fruit. This is a strawberry. It smells like pure strawberry. Amazing. And it is like a water gel. I only saw these at one store. I always like to tell you guys that so that you're not running around Dollar Trees looking for them. But just have your eyeballs open, okay? Because I don't want you to miss out. Here is the scrub. Let's see if it smells like pineapple. How? How do these brands knock it out of the park? This I'm giving it to Global Beauty Care. <laughs> they have good functioning noses over there at their corporate office. This smells like pure pineapple. Kiwi, pick up the new line. You're gonna smell like a fruit bowl. He loves that. Just based on first impressions, just based on price, just based on the ingredients and based on the fragrance of the product and what they're promising, I'm giving these guys five Vivian heads. I usually hold off on that last Vivian head until I try the product, but super impressed. Makeup blending storage. It looks like a microphone to me. It came in a few different colors and it's silicone with a suction cup at the bottom. I was thinking for like a mirror when you're traveling, let it air out. Oh. Oh, that's really good. You need to hang your beauty blender somewhere or have it somewhere, it's just gonna be out of the way. Look at it, on the glass. This is a great idea. I had not seen this little storage thing before. That's what it looks like from this side. Your beauty blender is not going anywhere. Fungalitis might grow in this still, even though it has a little bit of ventilation in the front, but 
I still love it. And then to get it out. So I'm going to give the silicone beauty blender storage with suction cup five Vivian heads. If you want to continue watching videos like this one, I recommend you watch this one next.